Hello beautiful souls of love and light. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. And the reason for it is because I wasn't planning to do that at all. And um, I am just entirely going with the flow. Messy hair? Yes, I do care because I like it this way. And hello every single one of you. I hope you are doing well. And I hope your heart is fully open. If not, you're more than welcome to do that here. With those vibrations, you are entirely safe. My name is Eliza Mozal. I am a spiritual mentor. I am a vibrational healer. I am really good with raising vibration and helping on a healing journey. I'm actually helping people to reconnect entirely with their divinity and sovereignty which is helping them being fully aligned with their own internal power on this chapter of their journey. And what I've been doing recently is that I've been actually realizing just before that, that, that call, uh, just before, sorry, just before this video, uh, I've, it's so, so, so many veggies, <laughs> steam boy veggies, like so many of them, fresh veggies, so many of them, a lot of them. And and then fermented veggies and I just and I just loved it all. No guilt, no shame, just entirely refueling that body. And um, and when I was eating that, I was asking internally, connecting with that higher power that I love to call many different names, but most of all I don't love I don't call it anything, uh, but I love that power so much because uh, it's not about the name, it's about the power behind the name that enables me today to be of maximum of use to this world, to myself and to this power. And what I've been uh, asking that power is that how can I be to the maximum of help and use if I, if, 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 if I would hop on life? What is it that I can talk about? And it took me straight back to what I've been talking about with so many people the last few days and weeks. And what I've been the most talking about is about tuning with that internal senses. Tuning with your own intuition, tuning with your own inner voice and inner guidance and just fully realizing that the whole power lies within you. It isn't out there. Yes, this is the name of the game. This is what we've been conditioned to do. Seek outside of us constantly what we believe is going to fill up that internal condition but the condition is 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 outside of us internally we're whole so it's entirely entirely the other way around and the beauty the beauty of this journey is to come to the conclusion like oh my god i actually got all of this entirely wrong all this time but through that i have learned more than I could possibly do about love, about unconditional love, and about learning how to how to see everything for what it is and still pick and choose to see love. Okay, I'm gonna share something. Um this morning, this morning was really challenging for me. It was so so damn challenging for me. I've been going through a massive, beautiful internal uplift and shift with my own healing and vibration was there a like a need for it was i like oh i'm really struggling i have to get myself out of it no not at all i was doing absolutely amazingly and i still am and i was at a point like i really my heart is really calling to work with that person tuning with their vibration with what they have to offer i'm just i'm just really curious to step up what's what's over there I felt cold. I didn't feel pressured, pushed through the internal or outside situation. I felt cold to follow my internal senses, senses. And by the way, guys, if you're watching this live or on repeat, it would be amazing if you would say a hello, drop me a little emoji, whatever it is. I like hearts. I like flowers. I like happy faces. So... <laughs> Feel free to drop it in your favorite emoji or the one that it works for you best. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm laughing at myself and I love that. You know, I love that today at myself about myself because I really suffered from seriousness. Uh, when you are entirely and in survival, it's all about seriousness. When you are um, 
when you are in the joy frequency you're just laughing so i'm like yeah 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 bring it on bring it on oh hi gorgeous hello hi andrea hi lona it's awesome to have you guys here so i was just started sharing about how uh, how challenging it was for me this morning so when you work with vibration, when you work with stepping into high frequency, it's gonna shake you. It's gonna shake you into a cellular level and it's gonna bring it up to the surface, that which no longer serves you. And that's what it was happening. And I started missing my mom so much. Like I started and I didn't spoke with my mom for a long time. And even longer, I didn't have a really nice conversation. Like really nice loving conversation so i started tuning in with the frequency not of how was the last conversation with my mom not what i'm pushing on i'm expecting i just tune in with those beautiful vibrations of how amazing that woman is and you know what <laughs> i've done it in my workplace i went into my car i shouldn't but i did it no regrets I went there and, and I called my mom and it was just so beautiful and it was so amazing and it was so great to have someone there for me and it was amazing to be there for someone and, and be excited for them and let them be excited for me and, and, just, and just exchange that, you know? There is just a huge big magic when we tune entirely into that heart space, open heart space versus this happened in the past, that didn't happen in the past, you know, all that old stuff. So, and there's so many people I've been talking recently about tuning inwards. There is quite lots of people that come to me that they were disappointed with the medicine, that the help and, and they were seeking through Google or the authorities and that didn't happen. And that was actually the, the, the story that I shared recently for me in the past. And that was the huge point for me, the huge turning point for me of letting go of reliance on the outside sources for for something big for something important and just learn entirely to tune in with that heart so this is what this is what the message that i have today guys this is the message about the your power lies within you entirely if you feel in any shape and form powerless over anything i would very lovingly uh, suggest to look at where is the reliance over there and what exactly can you find within your own heart if you would tune in 100% here and now in this present moment what would you find over there because I promise you I promise you when you put attention on something the energy flows over there and it grows when you put attention on your sore arm it's gonna be more and more and more sore when you put attention on how beautiful and how free you feel today just because you decided because you just entirely decided to be happy and free today that's exactly what's gonna happen in this present moment guys wow so much love how can you not be in love with life with this? Hi, UFOs. Hi from Baja, California. Yeah, I always get that. I always get so much love from California. I love you too. Hi, Rudy. So awesome to have you here. Luna, I understand. It happens all the time for me. Yeah, definitely. Last night, my whole physical body was literally overheating on fire from an energy session. And this is absolutely magnificent. This is so good because this is where you know that that energy works very, very, very deeply. It goes very deeply and it helps you release that which no longer serves you. The key is to not mistake that release by something that it's you at this moment and just simply observe it and let it flow. Just let it exit your system out. Yeah, thank you for being you and raising our frequency. Thank you, Andrea, I love you. Thank you for being here. Uh, UFOs, I recently lost a person who was my mentor and, I'm very, and I am very sad by life goes on. Hmm, okay, what is the frequency behind that, UFOs? Ask yourself. It's amazing how you are acknowledging that, yes, you can step up with your vibration. Amazing, right? Amazing. What this person taught you the most, right? What this person, if, if you would look at yourself right now through this person's eyes, what would you see? Would you see self-pity or empowerment? How can you take what that person taught you into your today to bring entirely the best out of you? So your own light can just shine on its own, like that. 
with an uttermost ease. Right? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And I'm very happy for you that you have that strength because I feel it. I feel it. Hi, Daisy. Hi, girl. How are you doing today? Cat. Yes. Hi, beautiful. Hi, Rosie. Whoa. Rosie's in the house. Uh, Leticia, you're so beautiful. Love your videos. Thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate you. Thank you for being here. And every single one of you who's watching all that stuff, I really appreciate you so much. Um, Daisy, oh my God, yesterday I kept getting super hot all day. Whoa, it's getting warmer here as well. The spring is coming. Uh, aren't these oranges wonderful? Yes, they are. I definitely feel them as well. I've got such an amazing message today from, from my friend who brought these energies from Shasta. Hi, David, if you're watching this. And, and, and I got a really beautiful, loving, unconditional boost of these energies as well. And I could feel them, which is just amazing. You for say thanks. You're welcome. Leticia says you're so welcome. Thank you so much, dear. And uh, yes, guys, the power lies within you. Let me just have a on work break. We'll tune in rest when off. That's amazing. Enjoy the rest of your day when you're at work and it will be amazing to see what kind of value you got from this video after you will watch it in full. Um, and I have a little, um, okay, let, guys, because everyone wonders, okay, so if, you know, you know, how, how do I do it? How do I find the power within? And it is all about these internal senses. I always start from the heart because uh, this is where the biggest power lies in. This is where it's the most easy, actually, to bring that internal power and expand that energy. And that energy, when you take that attention inwards, you bring that whole power and energy inwards and you can actually generate it and expand inside and outside of you to feel yourself. I didn't notice what a mess is behind me <laughs> and I'm such an OCD person. Okay, let me just tidy this up. <laughs> yeah uh, yeah that's what's going on so um internally when you put all that power internally something magical happens you literally whether you are aware of it or not you call all of your fractals back home all your scattered energy thought forms chords you literally call them back home when you eat very very intensely not the intensity like that, the intensity that comes with an ease, an extremely beautiful focus when goes entirely into your heart center. This is your heart chakra. I call it heart center. Your heart is somewhere here. Sometimes on the other side, I met a person who was born with heart on the other side. That was a long time ago, many moons ago. Oh, where is that stuff coming from, right? So your heart is, your heart is somewhere here. But the heart center, heart center, heart center chakra energy center is here. When you tune with the middle of that center, there is a spark of God. There is a spark of divine over there. And it is unconditional love. It is a super, extremely bright and powerful light. And you actually have the power and ability to focus on it in present moment only. Not when you think about the past or you think about the future, just in this present moment, through your breath, you're calming in and out, you're calming down your body, you're allowing your body to finally, in this present moment, feel safe with you. You tune entirely into that heart center and you start connecting with that center and you start feeling the energy. And when you do that, you start noticing there's something happening here. I actually start feeling that scent. I feel it from inside. So the more you practice every single day, this is dedication, guys. This is, you've got to love yourself enough to do that for yourself every day, right? Do that for yourself every day. Morning, night time, in the middle of the day, at least three times a day. Tune in with that. And the more you do it, the more you start feeling it. And then you are able to expand it. And you breathe in love and you breathe out peace. You breathe in light and you breathe out joy or any other way that works for you. Or even easier, even better, even faster, divine love, divine love, divine peace, divine peace. Whichever works for you, whatever your internal center, 
tells you that it works for you best. Maybe you feel extremely unsafe in this world. Why don't you breathe in, I am safe? Divine protection is within me and all around me, right? And focus on that and keep feeling, keep feeling. Always focus more on the feeling, not the words. Feeling and embed that feeling within you and expand and expand and expand until it is the size of your house. And just keep on doing that every single day. You automatically, whether you are aware of it or not, you're cutting all energetic cords with everything and anything that drains you out of your vital energy, the energy that you will use through just expanding your heart center for healing, for renewal, for rebuilding yourself, for creating the new you that you're gonna love 100%, right? This is, this is, this is so beautiful and so powerful. And it is just absolutely magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. I started doing that. Uh, let's say about three years ago, I started working on my heart center, like full on focus, but working like deeper and deeper and expanding that energy about a year ago. And it took me really far, really, really, really fast. And I expanded my energy and my vibration can get a so rocket sky. I can bring such a high vibration, frequency, energy that it shakes me to the core. And, um, and it's beautiful because I know that through all the work that I'm doing on myself, purifying, cleansing and healing, I can be to the maximum of use for others by bringing that energy through me as a vessel, through my heart center, to the person that I'm working with. So I wanted to share that the power lies within every single one of us. We don't have to constantly rely on others for approval, for love, for appreciation. This is where things go wrong when we expect from others to fulfill the stuff that it is our own job to do. And I've been talking to so many people about going inwards and starting tuning in with your own heart. What is your own body tells you? Is that food actually works for you? Does it make you feel good and light and happy and energized? Or does it make you feel lethargic and sleepy and forgetting things, right? Uh, how is connection with that kind of person or that kind of group or that kind of relationship makes you feel? Is it impact you positively or not? Tune in with your internal voices. You have so many of them. All of them, all of those internal voices, those internal guides, that divine guidance loves you to the core and it only wants your good. It's all about us loving ourselves enough to tune in with that love. And now when you will actually sit back and take a big, big, big deep breath, you will start feeling that high frequency of love and safety that it flows through me, through my skin, through my body, through my eyes, through my smile, through my movement, through my energy, because this is the energy that I'm practicing every single day to tuning into. I'm not interested into tuning into energy of murder, rape, shame and guilt. You know, uh, that's the stuff that I was watching and feeding my senses from the inside out from the outside in for years and it didn't work for me. Depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, alcohol, drugs, sex, abusing all of this stuff, abusing my own body, being in abusive relationships. None of that worked for me. When I started the healing process and I started tuning inwards, I started thinking, what do I really want? Why do I do that stuff? I want to feel loved. I want to feel loved. So I check with all of these people. <laughs> what is the most satisfying when I'm connected with my own love and that source? And that source. When I'm connected with my own love. When I feed myself and fill myself up to the overflow with my own love and with the source love. Then there is no expectations, no pressure on others to fulfill my own needs. Guys, let me check the time. I'm actually tuning in seven minutes. And seven minutes, I'm tuning into the um, Joe Dispenza Lovers meditations that Andrea is doing. And if you guys would like to join us, I'm gonna leave maybe in the comment section uh, the link to that group and meditation. It's beautiful, it's amazing, it's a heart opening meditation. 
So wow, that actually that actually one works with another here, right? Never planned, it happened. Ah, oh, I love this stuff, guys. Um, okay, who we have here, Kat? I love your uh, teachings. You're a natural. Thank you so much, Kat. And I love the work we've done together. You know what? I'm still looking back with such a gratitude on the work we've done together because the results were so fast. And I remember the message that you sent me. I remember as well, you know, the, the messages you sent me before we started working for the reasons you wanted to work with me. I remember that message when you sent me. You said in that message, Eliza, that horrible feeling of, of anxiety and fear vanished. Vanished, that was after our one session and a few days of exchanging these this, this supportive uh, chats that we have. And that was so beautiful. Thank you so much. Blessings to you as well, you folks. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to finish that video. I'm going to send every single one of you lots of love, lots of love and only love. Don't forget how amazing you are just because you are. And it's entirely up to you what kind of energies and frequencies you're tuning into. I remember when I tuned in with this specific guide of mine that it showed itself up what, as this particular energy looking a little bit like a monk from 14th century, blah, blah, blah. It's just like a symbol for me for the wisdom, the keeper of the wisdom and knowledge based on the experience. Uh, connected to simply praying and meditating and and i remember asking that guide how come how come i keep on returning back with my thoughts with my feelings into guilt and shame and feeling not good enough right why why is that happening and, re and i remember that huge big cloud and heaviness around me and within me when i was asking that question and i got the answer straight away i got the answer straight away like that eliza this is just another frequency that you no longer have to tap into. And when I, when I receive that internal, internal message through my internal senses, everything clicked in for me. Everything clicked in for me, how frequency works, how, how frequency is like that. And we simply can pick and choose on which frequency we've got to be. We, we want to be, we choose to be. And yes, at the beginning, we need help with stepping up with our vibration i was unable to be on the slow vibration of guilt and shame and all of a sudden you know find myself day over there on a joy frequency and stay there no way i needed to do lots of work and help a lot of help that i asked for and i did always received a yes um and that's how it works that lower frequency if you feel not good enough if you feel like you're spinning in the circles if you feel like you have to prove yourself to someone with anything, you don't have to step into that frequency. You can pick and choose to be present, tune into your heart and fall in love with you that you are right now. Just you, just you, just this, just you. Can you feel gratitude without having something that it shows you that this is what you need to be grateful? Can you just feel gratitude because you choose to feel grateful for your own heart because I swear to you when you will choose into your own heart what you will start feeling after a few minutes gratitude coming from your own heart just because you pay attention and that heart beats for you 24 7 since before you were even born this is how much your heart your own heart loves you and when you tune in with that heart it's only love gratitude and light guys and from that energy what are you gonna create in your life more love, more gratitude, more light, more joy. Uh, okay, I'm going to finish with that. If any one of you is seeking for a help on your spiritual journey, maybe there is some resentment or maybe there is some energetic blockage you don't know how to overcome, I can help you with that. Let me know through the private message. Hi, Elisa, my name is this and that. Can you please help me with this and that? Um, of course, I charge for my sessions. This is an energetic exchange in order so you can fully receive. It has to be a flow in and out, in and out. It cannot be just in or just out. That's how things work. And I am so appreciative of every single one of you of being here. Thank you for shining your light. Whether you are aware of it or not, your heart beats the light through your chest into this whole world. Thank you for smiling. Thank you for being here. Thank you for meditating. Thank you for just simply being you. 
I'm sending all of you so much love and light and thank you for being fabulous. Mwah.